the psychography uh, for our dear uh, cancerians, uh, cancer. Already uh, with mentor spirit, I have been in you since just since the house of us, I, you, and all that joy in our meetings. I always knew that you are an angel, and now I in, oh, how beautiful this energy. Now I in spirit and you in body, my dear angel, you have our memories. I have to tell you what is to come because it is very important. You have to be careful. Great obsessor and great obsessor and great test of the universe. Pay attention to what is to come. It is dangerous and a single wrong choice gives, everything goes. Pay attention. The one you think will go still won't go. There is still an evil, but I am with you. So I ask you, why are you not acting? If what you have to do, you already know in the room you feel pain in the back of your neck, neck, your feet have to be on the bed. Umbu is acting. The Lord is greater. We have already given you back your life. And so we will do, and so we will always do until you fulfill your life. You are an angel. Fulfill your mission. Cancer. There is a very strong psychography here. I felt an energy. And this energy, I felt it feminine. But it doesn't need to be for many. Have I said that this spirit is one of your grandmothers or mothers because I feel a presence of energy. You know, that feminine energy of someone who welcomes, someone who cares, and someone who provides. And here there are very important messages. It was played twice. This video was cut because there is this presence of umbral, which we will see what it is, and I returned. Let's go here and talk about an obsessor that is in your room. See if it resonates. If you have pain in the back of your neck and shoulders, it is because you have an obsessor in your room. So you have to get rid of this obsessor. Many of you know how to get rid of this obsessor because as the entire reading here says, you are an angel on earth. So you have the spiritual powers of angels. You know how to fight these obsessors. Those who do not know how will have to learn because you came with this mission. Here it talks about a great test that the universe will now be doing to you. This test is very important because if you make a mistake, you will enter a very deep depression and again into a cycle of depression. This cycle can last seven years again. It lasted for many of you, um, you know, then tell me in the comments, uh, you know that many of you have been stuck with this for many years, if not seven years, more years. Uh, here it says that you know evil, but you also know how to get this evil out of your life. Here it says why you don't do it if you already know how to do it. Here it talks about a threshold, putting up with it. Here it talks about a person that you may have gone to a fortune teller or some spiritual center, or you yourself read the cards because you know how to read the cards. Or the Cancerian knows how to read the cards. You saw that there is a person who did a lot of harm to you, a person from the threshold, an evil person, a narcissistic person, a manipulative person who has done you harm all your life. This person will come back to do you harm. He will come back acting. So this will be a big test. This test is to see if you know how to respond to this person. For many of you, this person will be on his deathbed calling you to others. He will appear out of nowhere offering something that is manipulation. If you accept, you will give in. Very bad. So there's a lot going on in your lives, a lot going on in your lives, a huge test from the universe. But I thank you, Cancer, for giving me this opportunity because the energy of the spirit is an energy of pure light, pure love. And I feel a really feminine presence there, a grandmother, a mother, a person who wants to take care of you and who cares. And she said that she has already taken you out of a near-death situation. Then leave your comments there in the comments, Cancer. Sometimes I don't write anything, but you can be sure that I read. My time is very tight, so sometimes I don't have the time to be there writing. But I read, and the card that came out for you here speaks of a victory of a victory. Many fortune tellers read the Six of Swords as something negative. I see it as victory you because the number seven is a spiritual number. So it is a spiritual victory and here they are raising the sword. 
Let's go here, let's energize this card and let's look at it well. Here, we have a seven of swords energizing, victory one after the other, and that's what comes to you, this victory until the next. Fortune into your life. I invite you to do um, the spiritual cleansings, opening the paths for love, abundance, health, family union, and for your wishes to be fulfilled. I invite you to do a complete tarot reading. I invite you to make the pact of wealth with the Exu of Gold. Do your numerology now. Do your spiritual cleansing now. Your complete tarot reading is the greatest and best investment of your life. The transformative reading that is done together with the mental spirits with your deceased ancestors. My mission is to bring you your abundance. It is to show you your path, your mission, your path to prosperity. Through the guiding spirits of light and love, thousands of people have already benefited from these readings. Thousands of people have found their path to wealth, prosperity, health, and love. Read also, get my books, How to Be a Billionaire, How to Be Healthy, How to Have Love. I hope to see you later. Do 